Today's video, I'll be uh, talking about an audio interface from Alab Studio, which is called the FX Caster Podcast Workstation. I'll be uh, showing you the features and walking you through its functions and do some testing. Without further ado, let's get started. First of all, I want to thank Alabs for sending me this condenser microphone set and this FX Caster podcast workstation. Now let's do unboxing first. Let's unbox first the AC22 condenser microphone set. Okay, and now let's uh, open this box. Okay, first it comes with an owner's manual and it does come with a pop filter. This is a foam ball. This is uh, to mount the uh, boom arm, which is this one here. There you go. And this is an XLR male to female cable. This is the uh, shock mount. And finally, this microphone. So again, this is AC22 condenser microphone. So it looks like that. And now let's unbox this FX Caster Podcast Workstation Console. And from here, let's open it. First, you will see a manual. And as you notice over here, this is a properly packed. Look, it's pretty thick. And it covers all the console. Okay, and now here it is. So from here, as you notice, it's still covered with a plastic. Okay, and, and from here, still covered with a quick uh, guide and even over here it has uh, that one okay and okay to remove this just simply lift it up there you go and this is what it looks like okay and let's check some of the cables here it does comes with a trs so this one that one that has two lines on both ends and this is a trrs three lines on both ends and let's check what's on here okay so this is usb-c to usb type a and you have this adapter so usb type a female to usb type c uh, male so this is just an adapter this is uh, for charging and also for uh, connecting to a computer okay there you go that's uh, pretty much what comes on those two boxes and now let's start the connections. So what I will be doing is that I will be recording while I'm doing the testing over here to this uh, iPhone over here so that I can share to you also the audio output as I am doing the testing. So as you notice, I already installed the, uh, the boom arm and I already placed this uh, condenser microphone over here. So now I will just have to connect this XLR male to female to the back of this uh, console so as you notice over here it has uh, it has uh, two uh, mic uh, ports over here and you can also uh, connect uh, maybe a, a keyboard or maybe a guitar on here because it has also the quarter inch uh, uh, input or 6.35 millimeter input right there okay so we'll connect the condenser microphone maybe to uh, input number one okay and pretty self-explanatory we'll connect this one to here and to tighten this one simply uh, turn this uh, like a thing at the bottom to tighten it there you go so it's not wiggly okay and uh, now uh, we will use maybe let's use this uh, foam ball by the way, this console does have a built-in battery, so you do not need to plug this in all the time. So it's not yet low battery, so we don't need to use this uh, USB-C to A. And now let's connect this earphone to monitor the audio. And as you can see over there, it has only one port for monitoring the audio, so it's over here. So that's where we will be connecting the earphone. 
By the way, in this kind of console, you can connect your source of background music wirelessly using Bluetooth. Anyway, in this video, we'll just use uh, the uh, line-in connection. So we'll use this uh, cable over here, so TRS. We'll connect one end to aux in, and then we'll connect the other end to the headphone port of this uh, iPad. Next, let's connect this uh, device or iPhone for us to be able to do recording. And for that, we will use this uh, TRRS, the one that has uh, three lines on both ends. You should not switch them because if you use the TRS to do your recordings, it will not work. So make sure you use the TRRS for recording. So from here, uh, since this is an iOS that does not have a headphone jack on it, I always need this lightning adapter. Heads up for you, if you do not have the right uh, lightning adapter, it will not work for recording. And by the way, I bought this one from the Apple Store. Okay, so from here, you have three ports here, pad one, two, and three. You can select either one from the three. Maybe let's use pad out two. And the other end, of course, we will connect to this device. Okay, so from here, let me show you quickly. Uh, Olive Studio did send also a memory card, SD micro card over here. So let me just remove it. So it's right there. This uh, console, you should be able to record. Even let's say you're doing your streaming and then you want to record while you're doing your streaming, you can do that as well. I will be doing another video in the future connecting this uh, micro SD card and connecting this console to a uh, computer. Okay, so looking at the back over here, as I mentioned, it has two mic input or 6.35 or quarter inch input where you can connect your, your keyboard or guitar. And here is the headphone port for you to monitor the audio. The next one is the aux in for you to be able to connect your source of your background music using a cable. But as I mentioned, you can also connect them wirelessly using Bluetooth. And this pad one, two, and three, these are the uh, ports where you can uh, record or do your streaming and as I said this is your micro SD card slot that you can insert for you to be able to do some recording uh, directly to that uh, card and this is USB-C this is pretty much to charge this console you can either connect this one to a to a uh, computer using this uh, cable so USB-C to A and uh, if you have to use this adapter of course it's available for you and uh, this is your main out if you want to connect to a speaker and this is uh, pretty much your switch turning on and off and now let's uh, turn on this uh, console so pretty much uh, the switch at the back so this one here so let's turn it on there you go from here, it's best that I should start my recording so that I can share to you as well the audio that I am hearing from this uh, earphone over here. And by the way, let's not forget to turn on the 48 volt phantom power as this microphone is a condenser microphone. So let's turn on the 48 volt. So from here, I'm gonna start recording into this uh, iPhone. And by the way, I am only using the built-in camera of this iPhone. Sound check testing one, two, one, two, three, four. And from here, whatever you're hearing, this is now the audio recorded from this uh, iPhone over here. Okay, so maybe let me go over uh, all the pads on here and the slider. First of all, all this one here are your volume slider. Uh, first, you have this uh, in one or in two or input one and two. These are pretty much your mic input volume slider. So from here, if you, of course, are pretty uh, self-explanatory, if you turn it up, then your mic volume will be will be louder. And uh, in Input two, we're not using it. We did not connect anything on there, so this one doesn't really matter. Now, uh, the next volume slider is for the music. This is for the background music that uh, you have uh, connected. Okay, maybe let's do a sample right away. Okay, let's play this one here. Okay, there you go. And by the way, to adjust the volume of your background music, you can either uh, control it from there from the source itself or from here, from the volume slider. Okay, let's play this one. Okay, so you can turn it up and down from here within this uh, uh, source, or you can also uh, lower it from here and turn it up. Okay, there you go. 
Okay, and the next one is for your uh, headphone volume slider. So this headphone uh, volume slider over here does not affect your recorded audio output from that device uh, over there. Uh, so it's up to you if you want to, if you wanted to uh, hear it louder, then of course turn it up or turn it down. Okay, maybe let's just put it in the middle for now. The rec volume slider, this is only if you will be recording to the micro SD card that you have inserted. Just to give you a heads up, if you do not insert any micro SD card, this not will not work at all. And of course, when you when you record, then you just uh, simply tap over here. And then when you stop recording, then use the stop button right there. Maybe I'll do a separate... Uh, a separate uh, video on this connecting this console to a uh, computer and this uh, out volume slider over here this is if you're going to connect uh, an external speaker over here so the one that says main out so that is your volume control for that and uh, the last volume slider over here the sample this is uh, the volume of your uh, sound effects that you recorded over here okay and uh, let me go over on this button over here so you have the M and S M is let's say if you want to mute yourself if let's say you are right now I connected this microphone to here if you do not want to, to use your microphone then simply mute okay and now let me show you the S the S is uh, stands for uh, solo so which means once you press this one all the inputs over here will not work so only this line will will work okay let me show you quickly i'm going to play this one here okay so that is uh, playing right now once i uh, tap solo over here you will not be able to hear this one okay there you go so right now as you notice i'm still playing this uh, this background music and yet you are only uh, hearing or listening to this uh, to the microphone over here even i i do not hear the the this music that i'm playing right now because i tap solo now once i turn this off we will be able to hear again the background music okay there you go so uh, it works the same way let's say uh, you are playing the background music and then you do not want to to uh, to use the microphone you only want to play the music so same thing so again the music is on this line okay let's play this one there you go. So I'm currently talking right now. If you only want to play the background music, then uh, tap. Okay, there you go. Okay, let's uh, just uh, pause it for now. Pretty much that is uh, the, uh, the uh, functions of this M and S. And now let's talk about this side over here. So as you notice, it has this uh, uh, battery level and it tells you if you're almost low battery. So at least the... Uh, you can prepare if it's uh, low bat it's almost low battery and the bluetooth uh, icon over there so as you notice it is uh, it is not blinking so that means it is uh, it is connected to a, a source and i actually uh, connected this one to this one here so but anyway uh, this will not uh, affect because uh, i already connected this one uh, via line in so this one will work and next let's uh, talk about the reverb button over here once you press or select a reverb you have three options you have room hall and church maybe let's uh, let's uh, try it to turn this pads over here simply um, just tap and hold a little bit maybe a, a, a second and a half okay so let's uh, tap and hold Okay, sound check testing one, two, one, two, three, four. So this is now the room uh, with this uh, reverb uh, preset. And now let's uh, tap again to select the hall. Sound check testing one, two, one, two, three, four. So this is now the hall. And lastly, the church. Okay, there you go. Sound check testing one, two, one, two, three, four. This is now the church. Maybe from here, let's uh, test uh, this equalizer. Let's. Uh, set the the bass uh, to uh, maybe max okay there you go so this is the bass uh, at the max and the bass uh, at low there you go sound check testing one two i'm gonna put it back to the middle and the mid let's set the mid maybe at three o'clock sound check at the max sound check and maybe at nine o'clock a sound check and zero sound check so again that's mid at zero i'm gonna be putting it back again to 50 percent same thing with the treble. I'm going to set it first at 3 o'clock, sound check, 
and at the max sound check, and maybe at, at nine o'clock sound check, and at zero. Okay, I'm gonna put it back to uh, fifty percent. Okay, and now let me turn off the reverb. Okay, just hold, and there you go. Now it's off. And now let's uh, tap auto tune. So auto tune gives uh, you a uh, vocal effects. Okay, let's uh, tap and hold again. Okay, there you go. So this is a C and then the next one and then the next one. So just keep pressing it until uh, you uh, selected the ones that you want to use. To turn it off, same thing, just press and hold. Okay, there you go. And now it's off. And now let's talk about the loop back uh, uh, button over here. What it is, is that if you turn this off, whatever background music you are playing, whether it is connected via line in like this one right now, or connected via Bluetooth or from a laptop, if this is off, whatever music you are playing, it will not be recorded or it will not be heard by your uh, listeners or viewers. So only you as a host can hear that, but not uh, your listeners or viewers, nor it will not be recorded on this device over here. Okay, let me uh, do a quick uh, sample. So right now it is currently uh, turned on. So uh, if I'm going to play this one, it should be recorded. However, once I turn this off, this uh, background music should not be recorded. Okay, let's, uh, let's do a test. Okay, right now I'm playing this music. As you notice, it is being recorded. As soon as I turn this off, Okay, now that I turned this off, I can hear this one, but I'm sure it is not being recorded into this device. So same thing, if you're doing streaming, uh, there won't be no audio on your streaming or your listeners will not, or your viewers will not hear that, only you as a host. Okay, let me uh, turn it back on again. Okay, there you go. So now you can hear that again because I turn on the loop back button over there. Okay, there you go. And now uh, you have this denoise button over here. So it's uh, really up to you if you want to use it. Just tap, uh, just tap this one. So pretty much right now, the denoise is off. Let me keep quiet for a bit. I can hear that sounds. And if I'm going to uh, turn this on, so again, this is uh, denoise is off. Okay, if I'm going to turn it on, there you go. So I can hear it more uh, clearer without that is a sound once I turn on this uh, denoise button over there. For the karaoke button over here, what it does is once you turn this on, the uh, background music that you're playing, if it has vocals, it, it somehow removes the vocals and then you can sing along with that if you would like. Okay, let me uh, show you a, a sample using this uh, karaoke uh, uh, button over here. Okay, so I'm currently using the church uh, reverb preset, and uh, let me play this one. Uh, let me turn it off first. Let me play this one to show you that is, it has vocals. There you go. So it has vocals. I'm going to turn it off now. There you go. And from here, you can sing along with that. Let me give you a short sample. so big lang nadama, ngiting di Dahil sa saya, maging kahilingan, sana ikaw na. Okay, there you go. So anyway, that is the use of this uh, uh, karaoke button over here. Okay, let me turn it off now. Okay, there you go. Okay, and now let me go over to here, vocal FX. So this is a pretty much your voice changer. You can uh, change your voice to robot, male, female, and doll. Okay, let's, uh, maybe let's uh, test uh, this one. Okay, let me turn off first my reverb. So just again, press and hold. There you go. Okay, so from here, let me uh, uh, tap this uh, vocal FX to change my voice. So again, press and hold. <laughs> There you go. So this is now robot soundtrack testing one, two. I'm going to press it again. Okay. So this is now male soundtrack testing one, two. I'm going to, I'm going to press it again. Soundtrack testing one, two. So this is now a female soundtrack. Okay. Let me press it one last time. Okay. Soundtrack testing one, two. This is doll or pretty much a baby. Okay. To turn this off, I'll press and hold again. Okay, as you notice over here, the Bluetooth uh, icon there is blinking. That is because I disconnected uh, this uh, iPhone to here. So in this uh, 
set up right now, I am only connecting the source of background music via line in, via this uh, uh, TRS uh, right here that I connected earlier. And now let me show you this button over here, the volume shaper. What it does is when you play a music or like this one right now, and once this one is turned on, it lowers the volume of your background music as you talk. And when you stop talking, the volume of your um, music is supposed to go up. Let's do a test. Okay, let me play this one again. Okay, so it's uh, still turned off. Now I'm going to turn it on. Okay, there you go. So now this one is uh, turned on. So as you notice, the volume of the music I am playing is not as loud if I'm going to stop talking. Okay, there you go. Okay, let me uh, turn off this one now. And then I'm going to pause this song also over here. Okay, um, so for whatever you do, whatever, let's say if you want to use the volume shaper, you can of course lower the volume there. So it's up to you how loud you wanted it to be as you talk. So, so that is going to be the max volume when you stop talking. And on here, you have this delay button and you have two options. You have the echo and tape. Okay, let's turn this on. Okay, okay there, there you, you go. go. Sound, Sound check. check. Testing, Testing one, two. two. So, so this, this is delay and, and echo. echo. Now, if, now I'm, I'm, going I'm going to tap, to tap it again. It again. Sound, Sound check. check. Testing, Testing one, two. One, two, one, two three, three, four. So, so this is tape. tape. So it's, it's up to you. If you want to use this, you can actually use this combining this reverb preset. Okay, let's turn this on. Okay, so right now I am using the delay and or tape and then the church. If I'm going maybe to use the room. So right now I am using the reverb uh, preset and the room and then the delay I'm selecting tape. Okay, so let me turn it off both of them. So again, press and hold to turn it off. There you go. Okay, and now let's go over to this pads over here. So this is the sound cards pretty much that you can uh, record sound effects a lot okay so however many you have over here times three that's how much you can record sound effects you can record and plus if you have the micro sd card over there you can also download eight sound effects to the micro sd card so you'll have a total of 32 sound effects so what i'm trying to point is so you have this abc on here now if i'm going to top so right now it's on A. So what it is, is I can record up to, so however many, so I have eight, I have eight pads over here. So under uh, bank A, I can record eight different sound effects on here. And by the way, you can record up to 20 seconds uh, per pad over here. So again, as, as I am saying, uh, bank A, I can record eight different uh, sound effects over here. And if I'm going to select B, same thing, I can record eight different sound effects over here. And if I'm going to select bank C, same thing, I can record eight different uh, sound effects over here. Okay, let me show you quickly. So right now I am using pad A. To record is a pretty simple. So let's say over here, let's record something on here. So let's say I'm just going to record uh, my, uh, my voice. Okay, so just press and hold. Okay, there you go. So I'm currently recording and uh, whatever you're hearing, this is now uh, the recorded audio. Okay, I'm going to just stop stop this one. So just press and now if we are going to, to play it, just uh, tap and play. Okay, there you go. So I'm currently recording and uh, whatever you're hearing, this is now uh, the recorded audio. Okay, I'm going to just stop. There you go. Anyway, that's how uh, pretty much to record uh, sound effects on here if you want to. If you want to record maybe from YouTube sound effects, you can as well. Let's say we will use bank B. Okay, so right now, if I'm going to tap this one here, uh, it, it's going to be empty because I did not record yet on pad B. Okay, let's tap it. There you go. So there's nothing on it because I have not recorded yet sound effects on this first pad over here. Now uh, to record, uh, same thing. Maybe let's, uh, maybe let's use... Uh, Maybe let's use uh, with a reverb, preset reverb. Okay, so this time I'm going to record same, uh, same uh, pad, the uh, same, uh, same pad, but uh, bank B. Okay, let's uh, tap this one and let's do record again. So just press and hold until it blinks. There you go. And now I'm currently recording using a uh, bank B. If you like this type of video, please like and subscribe. Okay, let's uh, stop this one. Okay, so again, I'm on bank B. So if I'm going to press this one, 
There you go. And now I'm currently recording using a bank B. If you like this type of video, please like and subscribe. Okay, let's uh, stop okay. this one. Okay, so anyway, that is pretty much how you record. So as I showed you, this is this is a bank B. And again, you can record different sound effects on here. So maximum of eight under bank B. And if you select, okay, let me just turn off the reverb. Okay, there you go. And if you select A, so again, A, you can you record uh, up to eight uh, different uh, sound effects. So let's suppress this one again. Okay, there you go. So I'm currently so recording this is the sound effects and uh, whatever you hear, the first one that I recorded under uh, bank A. So same thing if you want to use bank C. So re you can record eight different sound effects on here. So again, by using this bank A, B and C, you can record up to 24 different sound effects. If you're the type of person that uses uh, lots of sound effects, then this uh, console is for you. And by the way, when they send me this uh, console, it does comes with uh, the micro SD card. Let me just show you quickly. Uh, to remove and put it back in is pretty simple. Just slide it in and remove it. Okay, let me just show you. So it's from here. So there you go. You just uh, slide it in like that. But uh, as you notice, it's sticking out a bit over there. Um, so it's, it's in right now. And now if you want to remove it, just simply just pull it up. There you go. When you get this console, it does comes with a micro SD card with a preloaded sound effects, pretty much eight preloaded sound effects. So to enable that, make sure there is no light on this A, B, and C. So that's your bank A, B, and C. So as you notice right now, B, uh, bank B is on to turn it off. So you can use the preloaded sound effects on that micro SD card. Just tap it again and it will turn off. Now that your bank A, B, and C here, the light is turned off. Now you can use the uh, sound effects uh, from the micro SD card. And again, it has eight uh, different sound effects on there. I believe you can change that as well, but I will be doing a separate video on that, connecting this to a, a computer. Okay, before I uh, maybe uh, tap the uh, uh, sound effects on here from the SD card, what I'll do is I'm going to lower the volume of the sound effects because it could be too loud. And by the way, this is the volume of your uh, sound effects on here that you recorded or even the sound effects uh, from the micro SD card. I'm going to set it to about 25%. Okay, let's press the first one. Okay, and the next one. And the third one. And the fourth one. And the fifth one. And the sixth one. Okay, and the next one. Okay, and the last one. Again, as I showed you earlier, if you want your, your sound effects louder, then of course, feel free to move this up or down. Let's use this one here. Okay, to turn it off. There we go. So anyway, it's up to you however loud you want to play your sound effects on here. And this last button over here, if let's say you want to, to say something not appropriate, then you can you can use this button over here. I'm just going to lower it because it's it could get louder. So let me press this one now. Okay, okay there you go. You can press and hold that uh, if you want, but it's pretty loud if you move this one over there. And uh, from here, let me do a quick uh, sample recording as if you are maybe making a song cover or recording a song or this is actually pretty much the same uh, setup if you will be doing live streaming, uh, maybe to a Facebook account, just open your Facebook account on this device or whatever device you're using or maybe YouTube and then live stream from there. Okay, so maybe I'll use that song over there and I'm gonna turn on reverb right here so my voice has effects. Maybe I'll use Hall. Hindi ko na sana pinagmasdan ang iyong ganda at hindi na rin pinansin pa bawat niti mong may gayuma. Okay, maybe let me give you another sample. This time I will include this uh, delay. Okay, and maybe let's use echo. There you go. So it's a combination of 
of uh, this reverb preset under Hall and delay with this uh, echo. Okay, let me continue this song, or maybe another short sample. Okay, let me stop it from there. And I'm going to turn off this delay as well as this uh, reverb. And uh, by the way, if you will be uh, interested in getting this console, I will be uh, adding a link under the description uh, below. And again, I want to thank Alabs for sending me this console as well as this, uh, this uh, condenser microphone uh, set. And that is all I can share for today. Thanks again, guys, for watching. If you like this type of video, please give it a like. And if you want more of this type of videos, consider subscribing if you haven't done yet. And hit the notification bell so you are always updated for all the upcoming videos I will be posting. Keep safe and until next time.